So I wanted to make an update about my 240 volt joiner box. Uh, someone actually uh, posted a comment saying I, I, I never showed whether it worked. So I thought we'd take a quick look at it. And I just wanted to tell you, just to clarify the updates we made, we ground the, uh, the green ground wires to the box. That's a change. And we joined the uh, white wires, the neutral wires together. So the neutral wires are not attached to the box. They're just joined together uh, with a wire clip. And the ground wires are actually connected to the box so that if there's any short or any kind of water, it's going to short the box. And then the, um, the, it'll travel through the power line to the ground and it'll ground out. The problem is uh, because the neutrals are not attached to anything, I'm sorry for all the plants, but the, because the neutrals are not attached to anything, you can't use a GFCI switch plug. Uh, because if the outlet is GFCI, it's going to try to measure um, between the power difference, from what I understand, between the power line and the neutral line. And when it's going to see something's not right, because the neutral line's not connected to anything, and it's going to blow for safety. So, you so what you need is two lines, preferably plug it into two... 20 amp lines and just remove anything else on those circuits so you have two pure uh, 20 uh, amp lines with nothing else drawing power in this case I, I couldn't even do that I was looking around and this is the problem you need two separate lines that are hooked on to basically two separate sides of the um, fuse box so there are two sides to the fuse box and only if you connect one line to each of those sides to you know there's to an outlet that goes to each of one to, of each of those sides that's the only way you're gonna get 240 volts here otherwise you just have the same 120 volts going to both sides and that won't help you it's not dangerous nothing will happen but uh, it's just not gonna work the other thing is because we have this little LED here so there's a connection between the two power the, between the um, actually between the two power lines going in it's like here and there so there's the LED across so that means that when one side is plugged in this other side if I touch that you get a shock it wouldn't definitely wouldn't kill you it's kind of like those toys where your kid likes us to hold this pen and you get a shock it's it's small not I don't think it's even as strong as that but it's just something to think about so it's difficult to see. I'm going to plug in the second line, and because it's sunny, it's it's difficult to actually see. But if you have it right, the nice thing is it'll light up, and, and it does light up. From what I can see, I don't know if you can see it, but it is lit up. Um, okay, so that's that. So now the question is, we're going to tr work with the uh, Harbor Freight uh, Chicago Electric Welder. Let's see if that works. So we're gonna plug this in. Great, nothing blew up. That's a positive. And now let's see what happens when we go to the welder. Hopefully, hopefully it works. All right. What is this? Okay. Please, please. Hmm. All right, let's take a break and try it again. So, honestly, I have no idea what happened. I think there's just a delay in it turning on. But I walked away to double check my wires, and it's on. And to show you what a pain in the neck this is, I've had to run one wiring into the house, the other one into the garage, with numerous extensions. So, yeah, it'll work but you just have to realize what you're getting into. So I've never used it before, but let's see. Uh, let's try about 110. Okay. We'll get suited up and see if this works. Got the green light on. I think there's just a delay. You turn it on, you have to wait a minute or two. Now it's indicating green. Uh, we'll try it out.
Let's try it out. Seems to be working. Lower the amperage. Try it again. I think the amperage is right. Check that out. It's hard on my it's hard on my left. The left side. Mm. All right, so my welding sucks, but the basic idea is that it works, and that's the main point of this video. Just a rough angle to me to get in as a righty, but point is it's working you can do this in a pinch if this is what you need you can do it uh, obviously a 240 volt is better but if you have to move around I think this is the way to go um, I think that's uh, really it hope you uh, try it if you have any updates or anything uh, the comments just uh, post it